Welcome back to Teal Talk. My name is Zach. In this video, we're looking at the Jacksonville Jaguars defense against the Los Angeles Chargers. Going to highlight Roy Robertson Harris. He really stood out in this film. And I think the Jags defense has a lot of talent and a lot of potential. And his name isn't really ever mentioned. But he went beast mode against the Chargers. This guy was disruptive all day. Made plays that don't show up on the stat sheet. Made a couple plays that do show up on the stat sheet. Want to take a look at some of these key plays. Here we're going to see the Chargers running outside zone. So they're trying to get the edge here with the back. Based on what the back sees going on with the blocking scheme, he may be able to put his foot in the ground and get up field. But we're going to see Roy Robertson Harris right here, and he's just going to be disruptive. He's going to beat his block, be in the face of the ball carrier, and let the defense corral the ball carrier for a great play. Look at this. Roy Robertson Harris beats his man in the face of the ball carrier. Great play by the defense. Let's take a look from the end zone view. So we're getting outside zone. They're trying to outside zone here. So that means I'm trying to get my helmet across, reach block, kind of seal the edge. Disrespecting Roy Robertson Harris here. The center doesn't even pay him any attention, doesn't help out at all. He's just climbing to the next level. And now they expect this guard to get all the way over here, reach block, helmet across, and try to seal Roy Robertson Harris. If I'm unable to do that, a lot of people teach the offensive lineman to now just try to wash him down if I can't reach block him. And neither one of those things happen. Roy Robertson Harris, great get off. Look at him just kind of split these two. Beats the guard, and he's in the face of the ball carrier. Also a great job in run fits over here. I want to talk about the safety, number two, Jenkins, right? In football, we talk about block recognition as a defense. So I need to recognize the block that's happening in front of me so I know how to respond and be involved in the play. So right here, we're going to see the tight end zone block. So to me, as number two, that's a down block. That's away from me. If I get down block, some people just run up the field, kind of get themselves out of the play. What we're supposed to do is we're supposed to squeeze a down block so we can squeeze the air out of that down block and try to get involved in the play over here. So we'll see as it develops. Great job squeezing the down block, squeezing the air out of it, coming down the line of scrimmage and making a play on the ball carrier. But all of that happens because Roy Robertson Harris is disruptive in the middle. Here we're going to see split zone. So offensive line is going to be blocking zone this way. All right, so zone block, zone block, zone block. And they're, they're kind of trying to leave Trayvon Walker unblocked so that we can get a kick out with split zone from the tight end. Watch Roy Robertson Harris lined up right here. Again, disruptive in the middle. He's just going to push his man into the ball carrier. Let me just push his man into the ball carrier. They run into each other. Hats to the ball, make a play on defense. Let's look from the end zone view. Again, kind of disrespecting Roy Robertson Harris. They don't ask the center to help out at all. So we're just going to be zone block here, zone block here. Center's trying to zone block, get to the next level. Trying to zone block here with the guard. And we're trying to zone block, get to the next level. And then we get the tight end coming over here to kick out. Watch Roy Robertson Harris here. Offensive lineman's trying to wash him. He anchors down and just pushes his man right into the ball carrier. And now we're allowed to rally and make a play on defense. Want to talk about run fits over here. Trayvon Walker and Rayshon Jenkins. Very similar to what we saw earlier in the game. This to Trayvon Walker is called a down block. So block rec tells me I should squeeze this down block and see what's happening. As he squeezes this down block, the tight end is coming to kick him out. Watch Trayvon Walker meet him with some physicality, with something that coaches call dent technique. Watch him just dent this kick out block. Boom. Dent that kick out block. Look at this. Great physicality right here. Denting the kick out block. Now, Rayshon Jenkins is able to either fit here 
or he can fit outside, all right? He's trying to work off of Trayvon Walker. So he works inside. Both both guys are kind of inside, so we wouldn't want this. But look how athletic we are here and physically dominant with Trayvon Walker. Puts his helmet back outside, makes a play on the ball carrier. That's really good defense right here. And again, it all starts because of this guy being disruptive in the backfield. All right, here we're going to see wide zone. They're trying to get the ball out this way, and maybe the back can cut it vertically depending on what we see in the blocking scheme. And again, Roy Robertson-Harris right here dominates the one-on-one -on -one matchup. So they're going to go zone blocking this way, and you're going to see the center try to hold on to Roy Robertson-Harris, and it just doesn't happen. Look at this bench press and look at the long arm. Get this man out of the way. Shed the block. Destroy the ball carrier in the backfield. Let's look from the end zone view. So we're getting wide zone. So we're trying to get this blocked right here. Trying to climb to the next level here. The center is going to try to zone block on Roy Roberts and Harris. And he just doesn't let it happen. Watch the bench press and the long arm. Get this man separated. That's why we work the bench press in the offseason and during season in the weight room, trying to bench press and separate people away from us so we can get off blocks and make plays like this in the backfield. That's a really great job by Roy Robertson Harris, dominating his one-on-one -on -one matchup and making a play for the defense in the backfield. Overall, the Jaguars defense played very well against the Los Angeles Chargers and Justin Herbert. I think this defense has a lot of talent and a lot of potential. If we can continue to see them make corrections and continue to execute, we don't have any mental mistakes or missed assignments. This is a very dangerous defense because of the athletic ability we have on the field at linebacker and at corner and at the edge rushers. Really excited to see what we can do moving forward. We got a great matchup against the Eagles. Let's see what happens. Catch you next time.